We've now moved further inside the test bakery and we're going to see how they make the bread here. So Paul, what, what do we need to do first? Well, the first thing we've done is we've weighed up the ingredients and we're now going to tip these in. Helen's going to tip these into the mixer for us. So that's all the ingredients that we took, we talked about earlier that go to make the, uh, make the flour. And then the water that needs to go in with it as well. And this is just a big giant mixing bowl. This is a big mixing bowl that will do in the time, in about three minutes, that will take that from all those ingredients to be that complete finished dough. Fantastic, that's amazing. Let's see what happens next so, then. This is what this is the uh, this is one we prepared a little bit earlier. And Helen's just gonna scale that off into the right weight so we get the right sort of weight of bread that goes into the finished loaf. The next step is we round that up to make it into a uh, finished, uh, into a round ball, and it then goes into the proof, into the finished prover, and rests for a minute or two. Before that, then rotates through. It takes about six or seven minutes, and that rests the dough right down, and allows us to get a nice soft dough that when it comes out and into the next machine that you're seeing now which we call the molder it flattens out the dough into a nice flat piece rolls it up and we get something that looks like this wow which is what goes into the tins it's like a big giant sausage it is like a big giant sausage <laughs> it's actually a bit like a swiss roll inside and then what we do is pop them into the tins these are now ready to go in and be proved up so that's all you need and then it will just rise right so to the, the top. Like the yeast that we talked about earlier allows that dough to rise, makes the little gas bubbles that grow and grow and grow. Fantastic. So if I then pop these in the prover, so this is a warm and, and humid place that it keeps, keeps the, the temperature at the right level for the yeast to work. So it's a little bit like a sauna, Paul. Absolutely, just like a sauna and the dough will rise over about the next sort of 50 minutes. Okay, fantastic. So here's some that I prepared a little bit earlier. So you can see wow. that's exactly the same recipe that we saw earlier. And these have now all proved up to be, and are just ready for, to go into the bakery. And you can see they're quite soft and sort of, I can just touch them and you can see, but they're, quite, but they're actually, they're quite they sort warm. of wobble a bit like a jelly. So obviously I can't slice that and you can't make a sandwich out of that. So the next thing we've got to do is put them in the oven and bake them. Wow, fantastic. So it's not cooked at all. It's just been warmed slightly to let the yeast do its thing. Yeah, that's it. It's just the yeast growing and, and releasing gas that's made this dough rise. So that now goes into the oven and that'll work, it, that'll move through in the oven very, very slowly. It takes about 20 minutes throughout the oven and at the, end of, at the end of that time, we've then got nice bread. Fantastic, okay. Okay. So what happens the other end then? Is that where it comes out? It's like a conveyor belt that goes all the way so through here, So the conveyor belt it? runs all the way through. It about, takes about 22 minutes in total. And actually we need to, uh, and it's about 200 degrees C. So the bread- Very, the, very hot indeed. So the bread here <laughs> is very hot and that's why I need to wear the gloves. So here you can see those finished wow. loaves. So these are again, some that we made a little bit earlier, but you can, you can see how they've browned up and they've, they're have they now solid. So what I, all we've got to do now- You can just smell the bread as well. It smells right. amazing. Is knock out, those, knock out those loaves. And there we go. Oh. Four nice wholemeal loaves. So it's just enough time to find some butter while they're cooling <laughs> down and we can have a nice slice of bread and butter. That's right. Lovely.